in this question, we have a school that is going to invest 60,000 Rand in order to put up floodlights. Three years later, the interest rate is going to drop. Uh, four years after the first investment, 10,000 is withdrawn. What is the investment worth after 13 years? So I think we can make a timeline for this one. I always like to make two timelines, one for the payments and one for the interest rate. It just helps keep things nice and clear. So we know that this question is about 13 years. So we're gonna start at T0 and it would end off after 13 years. We start by, or they start by investing 60,000 Rand. And then for the next payment uh, is after four years. So at T4, they are gonna take away 10,000 Rand. So I just put a minus over here and that's gonna be 10,000 Rand that is taken away. Now we need to look at the interests. So they tell us that it's gonna be 12% compounded monthly. Then it changes three years later. Okay, so for the first three years, so that's up to there, the interest rate is 12% compounded monthly. So I'll just say 12% monthly. Then it changes by, it drops by 1%, and then it looks like it doesn't change again. So it says three years later, the interest rate drops by 1%, and it's going to become quarterly. So that'll go all the way to the end, because they don't change it again. So that means we'll now have 11%, but now it will be quarterly. Now, the way that I like to do these financial maths timeline questions is the following. I choose, I look at the payment, so it's this one and this one, and I take the first one, which is the 60,000, and then I completely ignore the other one, like as if it's not even there. And then what I do is I take the 60,000, and I work out how much will it be worth after the 13 years. And I must also make sure that I look at the interest rates as well. Okay, so we know that we can use the compound interest formula, which is P1 plus I to the N. And so the P is going to be 60,000. Actually, let me write this somewhere else. I'm gonna run out of space. So that's gonna be 60,000. Then I'm gonna look at the first interest rate, which is 12%. So I'm gonna say 0 0.12. You might say 12% on your calculator, that's fine. And that's gonna be for three years. So that'll be three times 12. Then your teacher probably also did it like this. If the interest rate then changes, you don't have to go work this out. You just put another bracket. And so that's gonna be um, the next interest rate, which is gonna be the quarterly. So that's dividing by four. And that's gonna be for 10 years. So I'll say 10 times four. Then I would go ahead, type this all in, and let's see what we get for this one. And so that's gonna be, now don't round off because it's not our final answer, 093.7183. So that is what that 60,000 Rand would have become. So now I've done the 60,000 Rand and so you ignore that. Then you go to the next payment and so that's gonna be this one over here. And remember that that starts at T4. So the only interest rate that it will experience is only gonna be the 11% quarterly. It will not have this one because that one only happens between T0 and T3. So we can go work that one out. So I'm just gonna say that this one is for the 10,000 Rand. Okay, so we can use the same formula. So it's A equals to 10,000. Some of you might be like, Kevin, this one's a minus. Doesn't that change anything? Not at all, guys. It just means we're gonna minus it at the end, but it doesn't change any of the calculations. Now that one only exp that one only has the quarterly interest rate, so that's gonna be 0 0.11. Now be careful, it's not gonna be 10 times four like the previous one, because this one only starts at T4. So that's gonna be nine years, so we say nine times four. And that's it, you just go calculate that now. And so that's 26554. Now don't round off because it's not the final answer. And then you just put everything together. So because this one has a minus, you will just minus it. So the total for this uh, school or whatever it is, is going to be 254093.7183 minus 26554.97517. And that should give us 227538.7183.
Thank you very much for watching.